Hello and welcome to an Empower Service tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add plugins to your Rust server. Right, so first things first, we need to come to empowerservice.com, press login, press game control panel, and then find your Rust server, mine's here. Now we need to head to configuration, startup parameters, and find oxide mod. Now by default, this is set to zero, but we're gonna change this to one and then that will automatically save for you. Now head back to your console and we're gonna to need to restart our server. Once you see that your server's marked as on, that means it has started up correctly. Now I'm going to check that Oxide mod is installed. So I'm gonna to go to management, file manager, head down to the folder that's called Oxide. And as you can see, Oxide has installed perfectly. Now I'm sure you've already got some plugins in mind that you want to install. However, we recommend using the site umod.org to find your plugins. Of course, there is a variety of websites that will sell you plugins for free or for money for Rust, but the process should be exactly the same of installing them. So once you're on umod, you're gonna wanna click on Rust to make sure you're looking at the right game. And here are all the Rust plugins you can get. Now I found one that I can showcase to you easily and that's the admin panel by Nivex. So I'm gonna download the plugin by clicking this download button here and choosing the download folder. Now I'm gonna head back to control.empowerservers.com, go to the file manager and then head down to the Oxide folder and plugins. And now we need to upload that file that we've just downloaded. So click on the three dots in the corner, press upload and then click on your plugin and press open. It should upload fairly quickly. Once it's uploaded, head back to the console and you need to restart your server. So once your server's online, you're gonna wanna give yourself permissions to use the plugin. Now some plugins won't require any permissions to use, but as we've downloaded an admin plugin to showcase this to you, I'm gonna have to give myself administrative privileges on my server. So what I need to do is get my Steam ID. To do this, I'm gonna to head to Google and search Steam ID. And we're gonna click on the top link here, steamid.io. Now you can either sign in through Steam to this website to get your Steam ID, or you can enter in your custom URL. Now, if you're unsure of your Steam URL, you can find it here when you edit your profile on Steam. Custom URL, mine is It's Harvey 2. So heading back to the website, I'm just gonna fill in my name, It's Harvey 2. And as you can see, we found my account. Now what you need is this one here, the Steam ID 64, and you just wanna press copy to clipboard. Now head back to control.empowerservers.com and we're gonna type in the command owner ID and then paste your Steam ID 64 that we just copied and press enter. And as you can see in the console, we've added my Steam account as an owner. So because I've got a plugin that requires me to use admin permissions, I'm going to have to grant the permissions to myself using Oxide. However, if you do not need to grant permissions to yourself because your plugin doesn't require that, then you can ignore this step. So head back to the page you got your plugin from. And as you can see here, here are all the permission nodes that we need. So we're gonna use this command up here, Oxide Grant, and we're gonna grant ourselves access to toggle the panel. So I'm just gonna copy the command here, and then we're gonna head back to empowerservers.com. So I'm gonna type in the command oxide.grant group, because we're granting a group permission here, and then the role, which the default role is obviously admin, and then paste in your permission node using control and V, then press enter. And as you can see here, that command has worked fine. If you want to know how to use a permission, just type in oxide.grant and it gives you everything you need to include here. So as you can see, we've got a few commands for this plugin and they can be found on the umod page. So I'm gonna test out admin panel hide and admin panel show. So I'm gonna open the chat and type in admin panel hide. And as you can see, the teleport button on the right side of the screen disappeared. And I'm now gonna type in admin panel show. And as you can see, the teleport button appeared. So everything is working correctly and we have installed the plugin properly. Thank you very much for watching. If you require any more support, the fastest way to reach us will be via live chat located in the bottom right corner of your screen at all times. Thank you for choosing Empower Servers.